What is up you guys, welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel. I am Gold Pony, I do new Car Shark SUV reviews on YouTube and today we are in the new 2021 Subaru Outback courtesy of Apple Subaru in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. Wanted to hop in this one today, of course, because Subaru has the very best all-wheel drive system in existence and not only that, there are a few different changes actually for the Outback this year. So what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so there will be quite a few different trim levels for the 2021 Outback. First one being the base trim, starting at $26,795. Premium for $29,045. Limited for $33,595. Touring for $37,495. The Onyx Edition XT, which is the one we have today. This one starts at $35,145. Limited XT for $37,995. And lastly, the Touring XT starting at $39,945. And so as you can imagine with those trim levels, there are two different engine setups to go along with them. First engine configuration belonging to the non-XT trim levels. Powering those trims will be a 2.5 liter direct injected four cylinder boxer engine, putting out 182 horsepower at 5,800 RPM, 176 pound feet of torque available at 4,400 RPM, power sent to all four wheels, of course, through a linear Tronic CVT. 0 to 60 time on that one comes in at approximately 8.7 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 26 in the city, 33 highway taking regular unleaded fuel or 87 octane. And then there is the other engine configuration belonging to the XT trims like the one we have today. This one is powered by a 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer engine putting out 260 horsepower at 5600 RPM, 277 pound-feet of torque available from the power band of 2000 to 4800 RPM sent to all four wheels through a linear Tronic CVT once again. Zero to 60 time on this one though is said to come in at approximately 6.1 seconds, which you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here. I wanted to add to that though, we do have paddle shifters as well. Yet another thing I'm gonna be testing out here, but MPG numbers for that engine configuration are going to come in at 23 in the city, 30 on the highway again though taking regular unleaded fuel that's pretty nice but before we do any kind of paddle shifter or acceleration test i did want to mention the drive mode or x mode is what subaru calls it and so with x mode what that is going to do is adjust the transmission ratio but not only that it also increases the all-wheel drive system engagement by using enhanced control of the vdc system to reduce individual wheel spin and this is definitely something you typically look for in subarus not only do they have the best all-wheel drive system but they got x mode on top Top of that and actually the onyx edition that we have today takes that one step further giving you a deep snow and mud mode as well so if you do live in pennsylvania maybe you want to go with the onyx edition because we do get some deep snow from time to time so i do want to mention that as well but having now mentioned all that what i'm going to do next here is push the shifter all the way to the back and to the left that is going to give me full manual shift mode here and we're going to go ahead and test out the paddle shifters. Keep in mind, this is a CVT, so essentially it's simulated shifting, but still want to see how quickly they react for us. So let's go ahead and find a straightaway and let's test out the paddle shifters here in our 2021 Outback. All right, you guys, and from a standstill in three, two, one, go. Dang, this thing's pulling. Huh. Actually, it kind of simulates an automatic transmission really well. Paddle shifters actually do react quite nicely. I will say that as well. And not only that, paddle shifters are always good to have on a vehicle. For instances, when you're going down a hill like we are right now, you can actually use the paddle shifters for a little bit of engine braking when it's snowing out, so you're less likely to slide off the road rather than actually hitting the brake. So definitely a plus that the paddle shifters are there. But now let's go ahead and do a quick little acceleration test here. Giving control back to the Outback here, I'm going to slide the shifter back to the right here and let's see how quickly this new 2021 Subaru Outback here can get us up to speed. All right, merging onto the highway, I guess. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Huh. I gotta be honest, that was kind of surprising. A lot more power than I expected for the Outback. I was definitely impressed there. I gotta say the XT version of the Outback has plenty of power. I can tell you guys that, but to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 12.4 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 11.8 inch ventilated rear discs. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, it actually comes in at 130 feet, which 
technically really isn't all that great. It's not the best, but typically what you're going to find when it comes to braking distance is anything that ranges from maybe 110 feet to 125. So 130 is really kind of below average. But having said that, braking feel is really not all that bad. It's a little bit squishy, but quite honestly, I have felt worse. So really braking feel shouldn't be that bad, although that braking statistic isn't the best. But so then touching on suspension and handling a little bit, up front you're going to get an independent strut type front suspension with the stabilizer bar. In the back, double wishbone type rear suspension once again with the stabilizer bar. As far as the ride quality goes, definitely soaking up PA's road perfections quite nicely so far on my test drive here today. So no issues for me when it comes to ride quality. Steering feel is kind of along the same lines. Really it's pretty much as expected. Actually I quite like it. It tends to be a little bit on the stiffer side as far as the steering feel goes so it kind of points you in the direction better than I would expect the Outback to do so definitely like the steering feel as well when it comes to cabin noise once again definitely on point so far I've hit about I don't know 60 miles per hour no exterior wind noise is really coming into the cabin that bother me so no issues there either but touching on visibility I can see perfectly fine out the back it's not going to be quite as good as the Forester of course thanks to the shape but having said that again I can see perfectly fine out the back so no issues there for me but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2021 Subaru Outback. All right, here she is, you guys. The new 2021 Subaru Outback. Finished in, of course, black since we have the Onyx edition. This thing looks totally sinister. Let's go ahead and start up front of the Outback here. I always like to start with ground clearance with Subaru because they always tend to do very well with this. Let me show you guys. 8.7 inches of ground clearance up front so that is quite a bit and definitely above average for its class i will say that led steering responsive headlights which is now newly standard for the 2021 outback one of the new changes for 2021 and essentially what that means is when you're going around a bend at night those headlights will swivel based on your steering angle better help illuminating what is around that bend so you're less likely to hit a deer or possum or a squirrel or whatever so definitely a safety feature there in itself and of course the headlights do come with the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark out they do turn on automatically for you there led daytime running lights also coming standard as well and if you were to go with the premium trim level and up you will find led fog lights down below as well but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the outback here so now taking a look at the side of our outback raised roof rails do come standard across the board in typical subaru fashion there rear privacy glass once again standard across the board body colored door handles come with all trim levels as well however i did want to mention you will get chrome inserts on those door handles if you were to go with the touring trim level then when it comes to the side mirrors they are black folding side mirrors with the base trim level body colored side mirrors with integrated turn signals if you were to go with the premium trim level and up you will actually find a satin chrome finish to them if you were to go with the touring and of course crystal black side mirrors although it's going to be impossible to tell today since we do have a black exterior but that is going to be found specifically for the onyx edition that we have here also like the little detailing on the side skirts there the outback lettering found on the bottom portion of those passenger doors there it definitely looks good and take a look at the wheel setup it is going to differ slightly dependent upon the trim level that you go with seven by seven inch aluminum alloys are going to come with the base and premium trim levels and then that gets bumped up essentially for every single other trim bumping it up to 18 by seven inch aluminum alloys and of course the design will differ slightly but the one more thing i wanted to mention on the side is the chrome window surround i love how it ties together with the side mirror here you guys can see that a lot of manufacturers don't do that i think it's personally a cool design cue so i wanted to mention that as well but now let's go ahead and make our way to the back here of the outback instead of taking a look at the back there is a matte black shark fin antenna up top there rear spoiler with an integrated brake light does come standard along with that rear window wiper just below that and of course you do have some xt badging if you were to go with one of those xt trim levels that is going to be there for you as well and just below it all when it comes to the exhaust setup it is going to be a hidden exhaust setup no matter what trim level that you go with for example the xt here has dual exhaust outlets however they are tucked away underneath but nonetheless, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. It 
this has been out since we are around back here of the Outback. When it comes to opening that rear lift gate, it is a hands-free power lift gate. If you were to go with the limited trim level and up, that power lift gate is going to be optional on the premium if you were to go with that trim level. But a few different ways that you can go about opening it up as well. If you didn't want to use the hands-free feature, there is a button on the key fob itself, also a button by the driver's side left knee. And there is a button on the lift gate itself as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 32.5 cubic feet. With those rear seats folded down, that is going to bump that up quite substantially to 75.7 cubic feet. That is a ton of space, you guys. That's like SUV space right there. 60-40 split does come standard as well. And when folding down those rear seats, by the way, it is a 60-40 split in case anybody was curious there. You will find a retractable cargo cover if you were to go with the premium trim level and up. However, all trims are actually going to give you grocery bag hooks back there. There's cargo tie-down hooks back there, in-floor storage, along with the spare tire underneath that cargo floor as well. Also a 12-volt power outlet back there as well. So pretty much everything you could possibly want in the cargo section is going to be back there then make our way to the rear legroom that comes in at 39.5 inches so for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there 39.5 inches by the way is plenty of space for me so absolutely no issues there heated rear seats if you wanted to spoil your rear passengers go with the limited touring or any of the xt trim levels i love that that is pretty cool dual rear usb charging ports coming with the premium trim level and up and i did find rear ventilation back there as well along with the rear center armrest and cup holders pretty much as expected at this price point really but then make our way to the front seats manually adjustable front seats do come with the base trim level power adjustable driver seat will come with the premium limited is going to add to that power driver and passenger front seats heated front seats are going to come with the premium trim level and up ventilated front seats for the touring trim levels cloth finish is going to come with the base and premium all other trims are going to give you leather seating essentially except for the onyx trim level that we have today this is actually a soft tex upholstery or really kind of a leatherette so to speak so definitely very comfortable seating though i will say that and i absolutely love the lime green accents that we have here on the onyx trim levels found on the seating and really throughout the outback here but very comfortable seats i did want to emphasize that but then taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is heated for the touring trim level if you go with the non-turbocharged engine setup and then the limited and touring trim levels if you were to go with one of those xt trims then a leather wrap steering wheel is going to come with the premium trim level and up now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you do have all of your buttons located on one side of the key it's pretty basic there you got lock unlock the button to pop the rear hatch and the unlock button by the way is the subaru logo in the middle in case anybody was curious but essentially it is all keyless entry with push button start if you go with the limited trim level and up. That feature is going to be optional on the premium. So therefore, all I am going to do, simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there. And so, but then upon startup, those gauges will do a full sweep. Tachometer is all the way to your left, speedometer to your right. And there is a small digital gauge set up front and center, which can be controlled by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the left side of the steering wheel there, giving you things like trip A, trip B, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There is also a digital speedometer that can be displayed up there radio settings safety information the list goes on so really quite a bit you can check out within the digital speedometer portion of it then touching on overall interior quality power moonroof is going to come with the touring trim levels and the limited xt it is going to be optional on the onyx limited and premium we do not have that option unfortunately here today but it is an option if you did want to get it on your own onyx trim level homeland controls are going to come with the limited trim level and up and they can be found underneath the rear view mirror for up to three different garage doors dual zone climate control is going to come on the premium trim level and up and again with the onyx trim level you do get that lime green stitching like i was mentioning that can be found just above the passenger side glove box on the doors and the seating as well also a cool little feature that subaru has done here is they put a little bit of storage just above the passenger side glove box as well and what's even better is they put a rubberized bottom to it so therefore things don't slide around as easily as they otherwise would have if they just left it plastic like just about every other manufacturer does so i absolutely love that subaru did that do like the little compass in the upper right hand corner of the rear view mirror as well and there's an overhead sunglass holder on the roof here as well it's always nice we also have an optional 
traditional wireless phone charger located just in front of the shifter here. That's going to be available for you just behind the shifter. You have dual cup holders just behind that. Of course, a good bit of storage space in the 12 volt power outlet within that center armrest there. But the very best part about new Subarus these days, I got to admit, is this massive tech display. And it is going to differ slightly. Seven inch color touchscreen display coming with the base trim level. However, every single other trim, meaning the premium trim level and up, is going to give you this larger 11.6 inch color touchscreen display. And I love it. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard either way. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay actually still standard, even on the smaller screen. You got to love that because therefore, if you have a smartphone, all you need to do is simply hook it up to the Outback and you have free navigation display. Don't bomb that tech display. So that's always a plus. Factory navigation system, if you wanted it, is going to come with the touring trim levels and the limited XT, although you really don't need it these days, as long as you have a smartphone at least. But so there is a ton of different information you can check out up on that touchscreen display, I will say that. And while it does take a second to get used to, you do get used to it, and then it is very easy to navigate with it. For instance, a lot of the climate control information can be adjusted on that screen. Also, that X mode I was mentioning earlier in the video, that can also be adjusted on that screen up there as well. Driver assistance features that can be adjusted on there if you wanted to turn off lane keep assist or whatever heated seat buttons can be found at the bottom portion of that touchscreen display you can check out your outside temperature the list goes on and of course your radio settings as well which leads me into the sound systems for the outback it is going to differ quite substantially based on the trim level that you go with as expected there bass trim is going to give you four speakers premium trim is going to give you six speakers Limited trim level and up is going to give you a 12 speaker Harman Kardon sound system with 576 watts. But unfortunately, we do not have that one today. We do have the six speaker sound system. So, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. It's all right. It's not bad. Uh, I feel like the bass was way back in the back for some reason, but that'll do for a six speaker sound system. Definitely go with the Harman Carter and I have a feeling that is gonna kill it in the Outback, but it's fine for a six speaker sound system. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display is when you do, of course, put the Outback in reverse, you will find a rear view camera for every single trim level across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, 2021 Subaru Outback is an IIHS top safety pick plus, which by the way, is the very highest designation given by IIHS. So it doesn't get better than that. Front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. Also a driver's knee airbag as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks back there, tire pressure monitoring system. Of course, the symmetrical all-wheel drive system is a safety feature in itself since it is the best all-wheel drive system out there. And of course, all trim levels actually also give you Subaru EyeSight. Let me emphasize this because this gives you adaptive cruise control with lane centering, pre-collision braking, lane departure and sway warning and lane keep assist as well. And in addition to that, all trim levels will also give you high beam assist as well. And there is a blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert that comes with the limited trim level and up if you wanted to go that route. That limited is also going to give you reverse automatic braking as well. And Another new safety feature for the 2021 Outback, at least, is that rear seat reminder system now comes standard for 2021. So a couple new things on the Outback overall. But in the end, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the Outback, excellent safety. And I love every time I watch Subaru make a video or read something about Subaru, they're always striving for safety. So that is definitely something that Subaru is killing lately. So excellent safety on this one. Steering responsive headlights is another testament to that. I love that that is standard on every single trim level. That is really a very cool feature once you start to see it in action, really. This large text screen I absolutely love. And I love that it's on the premium trim level, actually. That is pretty darn cool as well. It's kind of like a Tesla style screen up there not the very best braking that's probably my main constructive criticism for the outback 60 to 0 and 130 feet it's really not all that great but i will say i have seen worse than that like the volkswagen atlas let's say but really they could improve that a little bit although the rest of the safety is really nice the braking could be a little bit more responsive let's say underpowered base engine i remember driving that in the past although this xt trim level is quite nice i will say that and very nice interior quality. I was kind of impressed as well. I absolutely love the lime green stitching. And of course, this large touchscreen kind of ties it all together for me as well. But that is about it for this one, you guys. Let me know what you guys think of the Outback in the comments section below. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there so you know which car.
cars are coming out next on the channel be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold the world seems to shine like you've had too much water.